preserving it um, and keeping history alive. Right. And just that that was really our motivating factor. Anel Lopez and her husband Florencio have owned the Gadsden Hotel for just over two years. She says they were driven to buy the historic hotel out of fear for its future. We had heard rumors, you know, that if they didn't find a buyer, that they were just going to close it. Really, the emotional connection that we have to Douglas was that my husband was born and raised here. And, you know, when he found out that they were going to close it to him, he says, you know, once they close the doors, they'll never reopen them. Now the Lopez's are in the middle of renovating Southeast Arizona's most opulent and historic hotels. The Gadsden first opened in 1907 when Douglas was a bustling city. The history of the hotel is almost as grand as the lobby itself, which includes a 42-foot Tiffany-inspired glass mural. The artwork, it transforms with you throughout the day as the sun is rising and the sun is setting. It's almost as though you're in the desert scene, um, moving with it. And it's just the most beautiful thing. And I, I mean, I've, we've been here two years and I always find something different about the glass. The glass mural is located at the top of the magnificent marble staircase. Gadsden Lore says Pancho Villa rode his horse up these steps and chipped the seventh one. To me, it just, it makes sense. Why wouldn't he ride his horse? in here and why wouldn't it have chipped that seventh step? We had this guest that stayed with us maybe about, about a year and a half ago, right after we had purchased it. And she says that her grandmother would tell her the story when her grandfather was waiting on the rooftop of the hotel and that they fought in the lobby with Bancho Villa. They were waiting for him and he came through the lobby. Yeah. So it could be true. It could be true. <laughs> More history is found in the Saddle and Spur Tavern. The walls are branded with brands of local ranches. One of the famous brands that we have on the wall is actually the 26 Bar. Um, this is actually, um, this was John Wayne's brand. Okay. Um, it's still an active ranch um, today in Eager, Arizona. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he was known for coming in and uh, sitting in that middle chair and buying shots of tequila for everyone in the bar. The next stop on our Gadsden tour, the recently remodeled coffee shop. The style combines the old with the new. It was actually 10 little stools um, that um, were original to the coffee shop, and my husband actually rebuilt them. That I just rebuilt neat. this entire bar that's yeah, here. Yeah, it's such, it's so retro and such oh, a throwback. Yeah. Where are you going to take me now? It's a secret. Oh, no. we're yes. Going up, though, right? Yes, we're, we're going gonna, up. we're gonna go um, visit our permanent guests. The ride to the upper floors is in the original Otis elevator from 1907. We stop on the unoccupied third floor, where the Gadsden runs tours for those not faint of heart. The Gadsden's most famous room, 333. Uh oh. This is it, huh? Yes, you just have to make sure you knock before you go uh, in. I should are knock. You, are you going to be brave? I'm going to be brave. I'm going to go right on into 333. Okay. Oh, look at the shag carpet in here. <laughs> wow. You weren't kidding when you said original. A female ghost has been known to turn on and off the lamp and the TV. And Ella, if the third floor wasn't spooky enough, you're taking me down to the basement now. The What's, what are we doing here? You're going to the dungeon. Oh, no. Yes. That's not a good thing, so, I don't think. So the basement was actually known back in the day for women gambling and liquor. Oh, really? Yes. And now the Lopez's are recreating the speakeasy they hope to open in the spring. They'll even repurpose the original booths from the coffee shop in the speakeasy. The final stop, the front desk, where you'll find real keys for the 22 rooms currently in use. If we were to add like the card readers, I think it would be too modern for the space. Yeah, so I think you're right. We kind of just want to keep that little piece of history. Yeah. It, and history is so important. You and your husband are doing a terrific job of maintaining the identity of this hotel. And I think that's just wonderful. And I thank you thank so much. You. you are absolutely Arizona. We appreciate the tour. Thank you. Thank you.